Hi guys. It's coming up to quarter past nine on a Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. Monday evening. Ooh, um, I've had quite a productive day. I've... Well, I was at Mum's yesterday and I bought three bikes back and a racing bike frame that I want to do as a future project. Um... Might even be another frame come back with me yet, I don't know. I'll double check it in daylight when I'm next over. Uh, it's just a couple of old Universal bikes, so they're your budget brand bikes, but the frames are actually in good nick. <laughs> so, as Biggles had the back wheels out to cut the three speed hubs out, so they don't have three speed wheels anymore, I was going to convert them to a five speed using a couple of um, racing bike wheels I've got. Now I started that project on the boys one at Mum's a couple of months ago and I just haven't finished it. So it's got gear cable, I think it's long enough, I hope. It's got the derailleur fitted, I've just got to change the chain for a longer one and obviously fit the wheels back in or just so I've got a better pair of wheels up here that are a bit cleaner so I'm going to stick those in it's got mud guards the handlebar is rusty but I can um I've got handlebars I can swap that with so that's not a problem so it'd be a bit of a custom job I've got an itchy nose hang on yeah that's better you just love it when you get an itchy nostril Then mum will turn around and say, stop picking your nose. I'm not a woman, I'm scratching a bleak niche. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I had a bit of a sort out. I tried to fix that lady's mountain bike that's got the um, stuck seat post, but that won't budge. <clears throat> so I'm using that for donor parts at the moment. Um... So I have got a bike project on the go in the bedroom, and there is a reason for that. As there's also, well, the bike project in the bed bedroom, bedroom, what's a bedroom? The bike project in the bedroom at the moment is the reason I decided to sell the Viking bike. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. <sighs> I'm still waiting for a reply from eBay, hopefully with a phone number that goes direct to their accounts department so I can discuss raising my selling limits. As I said before, I'm not greedy, even if they just raise it for another extra 10 items. So it's 20 items a month, which is their limit anyway for the um, free listings. You can list fr um, 20 items free each month anyway. So. I could live with that. Um, and then, you know, maybe when I get bored I could uh, raise my limits again. <laughs> anyway, oh, I've been looking for that USB cable. Um, oh, that laptop's fucked to put up bluntly. I tried, you know, redoing all the thermal paste on the processors and whatnot, and that screen still shuts off. And it does it rather quickly now, so I'm, um, well, either in January it'll go up as spares or repairs, or before that if I can get, a, you know, my selling limits raised. Whichever comes first. I'm not looking forward to that because I'm not very good on the phone, so... Yeah, but uh, it's something I'm going to have to do. Oh yeah, and I sorted out the outside cupboard, which is what sparked off building this bike, actually. Because Mum's moving, hopefully this weekend, or after Friday at least. So I'm going to be busy. But uh, I'm sorting the cupboard out, because I was originally going to build this one to sell. But I decided against that, and there's a reason for that. The main reason is the Viking 
the frame is about that much taller with the seat all the way down so it is you might laugh but it is a bit of a chore for me to swing my leg over to get on it I can ride it but because of the height of the frame it's not the most comfortable for me so as this is a lower frame this is going to be much more comfortable for me so I'm going to build this one up the wheels came out of that lady's bike so it's locked to the trailer with uh, no wheels but the only other parts I want is the crank the crank set if I can get them off um, and the chain um, dryers I've got up here grip shifts I'll take those off I'll strip it for parts as well maybe tomorrow if the weather's nice I've got a front mud guard I can put on this excuse me um, I've just got to drop the forks out of there and re um, grease up the bearings because they're not the original forks originally this was just a rigid frame but uh, Biggles being Biggles stripped it for parts and sold all the parts and give me the frame and the forks if you look at the forks as they are now they were actually bent over like that and there was no way we could bring them back we tried heat and everything so I um, had these Claude Butler forks which I actually got out of a frame that um, <laughs> a Claude Butler frame that I can't get the bottom bracket off of so that's a scrap but I've just sat them in there just to see if the forks would fit they do so I'm just gonna um, loosen all that top off tomorrow grease it all up do what I can on this tomorrow I think so I don't need to hurry in getting the three or the um, other three speed bikes done now that I'm gonna sell the Viking that should sell like um, hotcakes because that's a decent bike and I'm not gonna let that go for silly money because it is in friggin good condition and it works perfectly so I'm not going to take much less than 40 quid for it. It's worth that. <clears throat> uh, I'm just thinking. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to stick that up. I'm going to change the tyres on these wheels as well. because They're not crap, I just don't like them. <laughs> I can save those to put on a bike I want to sell. Uh, I actually like it. Peugeot's different. I've had two Vikings in the past anyway. And I've had Peugeot racing bikes, but never a mountain bike. And this already had the baggage rack and the rear mudguard. Like I said, I've got a front one I can stick on it. It's downstairs, I believe. So, yeah. I've got everything. I might have to go and get a couple of gear cables for it, or at least the rear one, but I get paid Thursday, so that's not a problem. May not leave those handlebars in there and that stem. I'm going to have a look in my drawer downstairs. Because I've got a drawer full of stems and a drawer full of ordinary thumb gear levers and then a drawer full of grip shifts and everything else. <laughs> but I've got some old style Shimano trigger shifters down there that I'm going to put on this, which have gear cables attached. Or did I steal it? <laughs> May have stolen one, I can't remember. If I haven't, that might save me a bit of cash on gear cables. <laughs> but I'm going to stick those on this. Um, I don't know if that handlebar's wide enough for me, because I like a wide handlebar. But yeah. You know, being a lower frame, I'll, it'll be much more comfortable for me to ride this one. It'll be a 21 speed. So, I'm quite looking forward to that. If the crank from the other bike doesn't work, I have got one aside in my outside cupboard for it. So, I am covered. <laughs> Just in case sort of thing, because you never know. Uh, yellow is not my most favourite of colour, but I do like the sort of yellow and... That's blue and it's not showing up in this light because it's shit. I'll show you that better in daylight. 
but uh, yeah, that is yellow and blue with a bit of purple here, a bit of dark sort of purple there. Frame's a little rough on the crossbar, you know, where your cables run, but on an old bike I actually expect that because it's quite common. When you get on and off your bike and the cables rub, it rubs all, your, rubs all the paint off. It's a pain in the arse. It's only because people don't put those little rubber rings on to space the cable from the frame, but never mind. No biggie. I'm not a perfectionist or a fuss pot like that. It's uh, tidy enough. In fact, it would be a lot tidier than my old clawed butler. That's why I let it go so cheap. Because the frame was rather rough. <laughs> a lot rougher than it looked. From a distance it looked okay, but when you got up close, that's when you started... Awesome. Ah, get my teeth in. That's when you sort of started to see the uh, imperfections. <laughs> Because mum always goes, you shouldn't have let it go that cheap. Yeah, but you didn't know what the bike looked like. <laughs> I do, I know what I could get. Heck, I've been doing it how many years now? Well, at least seven in this flat and on and off, you know, way before I got this flat and way before I started YouTube, so... I still haven't... Did I tell you I had a bike left on my shed door? Still haven't found out why that was left there. And it's still up the corner, last I looked anyway. Everything's locked up down there, so I haven't got to worry about that. Right. How about that for fucking good timing? I literally just clicked on Skype just as my friend sent me a message saying hi. <laughs> I was literally just about to click to see if he'd gotten online. Actually a couple of nights ago I'd got out of the bath and I'd literally just sat here from having a bath and he got online. <laughs> it's almost like he's watching me. I haven't got a camera hidden anywhere ever. <laughs> Not being secretly spied on, am I? Anyway, I'm going to shut the video down here. Um, as for tomorrow, uh, I might do a bit more on that Peugeot. Uh, get the Viking up for sale. That'll be the third bike up for sale at the moment. So I'm hoping someone's going to buy something for Christmas. That's what I'm hoping on, you know, as a Christmas present. Um... Anyway, <laughs> uh, what else have I got to do? I've got two errands to run, I've got a prescription to drop off at the doctor's surgery and a parcel to post. Because I sold um, a set of brake calipers today. I don't know which pair, but uh, I'll have a look later. But yeah, someone bought them, no offer, just boink, just hit the bar. Now, some people do. And what was it that sold yesterday? Oh, I might have sold both pet, both brake calipers actually. Let me just have a quick look. Because I sold some yesterday. Someone, I put them up for five pound. Buy it now, because I know that's what they, the max what they were worth. And you always get someone. He, I know. I thought he was trying his luck because he offered two pounds. No. I declined that politely. <laughs> but. Um, he then sent another offer, saying £3.50. I took that one. Because, oddly enough, I was actually thinking to myself, you know, I thought, well, if he offers me £3.50, I might accept it. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't been, have I? Hmm. 
two items I'm bidding on on eBay, and I've been outbid. And I don't actually know if I want to go any higher. I might try a price before these actually end tomorrow. But for now, I'm not going to bid. So I don't want to go much higher. Or do I? <laughs> Either way, I'm not bidding. The other ones were just some soft plushy toy thingies. Um, but for what they've just, I've just been outbid on, I could actually go and buy them brand new from other eBay sellers. So, you know. I don't want to, um... Well, I bid 13 quid, and if I actually just scroll down, I might be able to find them. And get the whole set of six, you see, for, I think, about two pounds more. Brand new, so I might as well pay the extra two pounds and just get the full six brand new. <sighs> anyway, I digress, so I'm going to disappear for the moment. Yeah, <laughs> before I drag this video on too, for much longer. So, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I might set the camera up tomorrow, I'll give this a boost charge, so I ain't got to worry about it. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Set you up on the tripod, and we can play around with the bike while I chat. So, talk to you tomorrow.